Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015, and I'm here with Brad Parks. And Synergy has kind of been a big theme throughout the event and the composable infrastructure. And you can't really do uh, an overall infrastructure without storage. So how does storage fit into the, this composable theme? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an exciting event for, uh, for storage as it relates to composable because you know, storage and your data is the, it's the persistent part of your IT stack. It's where you know, your business logic and the value lies. And storage choice points are one of the most complicated parts of setting up an infrastructure today. If you think about the hundreds of applications an enterprise has, some of it's on direct attach, some of it's on flash, it can go on software defined, block, file, or object. It's a very complex topic that is ripe for simplification. And that's what Composable really is bringing to the, to the so, party. So how does Composable simplify from a storage perspective? Sure, so um, the premise behind Composable uh, really falls into a three layer cake, um, I'd call it, from an architectural standpoint. Is that frosting? It, it's fondant, I believe. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's the physical layer, which is the resource pools. How do you automate the, the provisioning, the zoning from a server you know, to storage? Um, so the physical layer, there's a data services layer, you know, how do I protect that data? How do I set up templates to assign different workloads to different types of data? And there's a management layer, or a control plane. Uh, composable is about bringing all that together so that you know, the line of code that you script for a workload or the UI that you go into to manage your infrastructure as a whole, you know, still treats the combination of all your apps and all your servers and all your storage as one you know, logical, manageable entity. It's about, it's almost like hyper-converged at data center scale, right? The simplicity that I think people are looking for out of a hyper-converged experience, how do you do that, you know, at a rack, at a row of racks, at a data center level? So, it almost sounds like storage is now commoditized and, and maybe, oh, maybe, maybe, customers, maybe customers don't even yeah. need to care about what um, storage they have underlying? <laughs> My heart, you hurt me. Um, so I wouldn't say it's commoditized. Um, I think I think the fact is, storage is probably the most important part of the stack. And I'm not just saying that as a storage guy, but like I said, that's where data lives. But it's also the area that that needs the most help from automation because it is so complicated. So if you you know if you do it right, people they don't they want to care about it, but they don't want to have to configure it every day of their life, and I think you said earlier, right, that's the difference between configuring something and composing something, you know, is different. They want to get out of element managers and raid sets and, you know, DAS versus SAN. They just want to go into one place, say, I want this quality of service, I need it this big, and they want an easy button, and they want it to happen. And I think we're, we're starting to approximate that with, with things like Synergy and the links to to three par, to store virtual, to direct attached storage. Now to me the thing about Composable that, that it feels like is that this is really empowering software developers to kind of have a little bit more control over the underlying infrastructure that they build their applications yeah. on. And so is Composable making it easy for like a software developer to figure out whether or not the the, the underlying storage that they're they're utilizing is something like flash or spinning disk or um, how do you, how do you, how do you measure the, the, the IOPS need and, yeah. and know that you're, you're getting access to the, the read writes yeah. that you need at the pace you need them? I think to some extent the, you know, the app developer community definitely doesn't care what the underlying hardware is, right? I mean, I think that's the, the reason, you know, your, your Python guys, your people that are going to public cloud, they just want to, they want to bang out some code, they want to write their app. I think the, the challenge is for the internal enterprise data center architect who has to meet the needs of their, you know, their enterprise, they have to enable that developer. And so how do they maintain the control that they want, do they reduce risk to the business while still giving that app developer kind of the flexibility they need to programmatically go grab the right class of storage and, and get on with their life and, and write the rest of their app workload. And so that's where they're taking care of you know, assigning templates to different quality of service, you know, all the automation we have built in, you can you know, spin up capacity, spin it down very easily. This gives the, the IT architect, the data center architect, the ability to essentially gift that over to his, his app development community without them having to know, you know all the magic behind it. To me, it's a lot like the utility company, right? I, 
I plug my lamp in. I don't care how much of that came from hydroelectric, you know, solar, gas, baby seal oil. I don't care. I, I just want my light to turn on, and I think this, you know, this gives them the, the best of both worlds. So for those for those architects, what has Composable done that makes like kind of their lives more complex? Because it feels like maybe yeah. maybe it's Is simplified. There a, yeah, a hidden problem yeah. in there. Um, I think it requires them to think more broadly about you know some of their choice points. I think traditionally we've attacked each project you know at the data center, each workload as its own project because that's how budget came down from on high for a a business initiative. It's also how we ended up with probably a dozen different primary storage architectures on the data center floor or stacks from compute down to storage, you know, on one end of the data center or another. If you're going to get the max benefit out of this approach, you really have to think differently about how you're attacking your problems. You now have the ability to, to simplify at data center scale, but it means we have to think about uh, infrastructure at data center scale, not project by project by project. So it, it requires a little shift, I think, in how we how we think. All right, well, let's see let's see what that shift is going to uh, take us with Composable here in the future. All right, should be fun. Thanks a bunch. Thanks, Brad.